Hey guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to take a look at composite functions. So a composite function is a function that's made up of other functions where the output of one of our functions becomes the input to the other one. So the operational symbol for composition is this circle between the two functions. So we would read this f composed with g of x, or another way to say this would be f of g of x. So what's happening here is we're taking some x value and we're plugging it into our function g. Now when we do that, we get a specific output value from function g, and then what we're doing with that g output value is taking that and plugging that into the function f to get a new output value. So in this first example, we're going to do a little composition. We're going to find a formula for f of g of x if we know that f of x is x minus 7 and g of x is x squared. So what I like to do when I'm doing function composition is I always start with the function that's on the outside. So I'm going to start with my f function, which is x minus 7. And then what I want to do with that is we're supposed to be plugging in the g function. So where the x is in the function f, we're going to get rid of that and we're going to replace it with whatever the g function is. So the g function is x squared. So we're going to take that and plug that in for x. And when we do that, we're going to end up getting x squared minus 7. Now in the previous example, we did f of g of x. On this one, we're going to do g of f of x. So we're going to be working this kind of in the opposite direction. So we're going to start with the function g, which is x squared. And we're going to be plugging in the function f, which is the x minus 7. So where the x is in this function, we're going to plug in the x minus 7. So we're going to end up getting x minus 7, but then we still have that squared power on that whole thing. Now in this example, we're going to do f of g of 2. So earlier on, we did f of g of x, but now we're going to do a specific x value. So when we did f of g of x, we ended up with the function x squared minus 7. But now with this 2, that means that we're going to plug 2 in for the x. So it's going to be 2 squared minus 7. Well, 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. Last example here, we're going to do g of f of 2. So earlier we did g of f of x, and we ended up getting x minus 7 squared. But now we're going to be taking 2 and plugging that in for the x. So we're going to get 2 minus 7, and then we're going to square that. So 2 minus 7 is negative 5, and negative 5 squared gives us 25 as our answer for this one. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.